Hi, welcome to SolveAndGo.com. Um, this is the first example of solving a differential equation using the method of undetermined coefficients. So this can be used to solve differential equations uh, of the following form. Well, this is an example of one. Um, so we have y double prime minus 2y prime minus 3y is 3t times e to the power of 2t. Uh, y of 0 is 1, and y prime of 0 is 0. Okay, so on the left-hand side, we have a second-order differential equation, and on the right-hand side, we have some function of t. Okay, so f step 1, find the solution to the homogeneous equation. Genius equation given by setting the right hand side equal to zero. So the idea is that we're going to get a solution to that equation and then a, sol a particular solution um, that equals 3t times e to the 2t and then we add the 2 to get the most general solution. Okay, so um, we get y double prime minus 2y prime minus 3y is zero. And so we get the corresponding auxiliary equation and solve it. So that will involve finding the roots. So we should factor. This is r minus 3 times r plus 1. And so the roots are r1 is 3 and r2 is negative 1. OK, so the solution to the homogeneous equation is given by yh equals c1 e to the power of 3t plus c2 e to the power of negative 1 times t, so negative t. And now we're going to solve for c1 and c2 by plugging in the initial conditions. So let's first find the derivative. It is 3c1 e to the 3t minus c2 e to the negative t. That's the derivative. And now we can plug in our, our value 0 into yh. That will give c1 plus c2, and we're told that equals 1. So that gives us one equation here. And then let's plug into the derivative. Um, so I'm going to have to write this again. We have y prime yh prime equals 3c1 e to the 3t minus c2 e to the negative t. We plug 0 into here. yh prime at 0 is 3c1 minus c2. So we get two equations, um, that one and this one. So this one is 1, this one is 0. Okay, and this is just a system of linear system of two equations. Um, so this is 2. Uh, sorry, this is C1 plus C2. We just copied it wrong. Okay, so this is our system of equations. Um, we can eliminate the variable C2 by adding the equations. We get 4C1 is... 1, and so c1 is 1 over 4. Okay, so in that case, c2 from equation 2 must be 3 over 4. Okay, so our general solution is, well, the, our homogeneous solution is going to be 3. Um, c1 was 1 quarter. c2 was um, 3 quarters. And that's our solution. OK. Um, so sorry, we're plugging this in for y. So that was the derivative of y. We get yh equals c1, which was uh, 1 quarter, times e to the 3t plus c2 times e to the negative t. OK, so this is our solution here to the homogeneous system of equations.
a homogeneous differential equation, rather. OK, so now we need to find a particular solution. So we'll hang on to this for later. What's the particular solution? Well, the particular solution we're going to guess is the following form. So we have a polynomial 3t times e to the 2t. So we're going to guess that our solution has the form y of t equals a0t plus a1 times e to the 2t. OK, we know we need a factor of e to the 2t for sure. Uh, and we know we have a polynomial here. So these derivatives need to add up to a polynomial times e to the 2t. So this is our guess. So sometimes this procedure can be a little bit of guessing and checking, but this looks like it might be the form. So let's see. y prime of t is then, by the chain rule, a0 e to the 2t, not the chain rule, the product rule, plus 2a0t plus a1 times e to the 2t. And then y double prime at t is 2a0 e to the 2t plus, so we get 2a0 e to the 2t plus 4a0t plus a1 times e to the 2t, like that. OK, so let's plug this into our equation. I'm going to have to make some room up here to do this. So what we end up with is y double prime. OK, so 2a0 e to the 2t plus 2a0 e to the 2t plus 4 times a0 t plus a1 times e to the 2t. And then, if you remember our original equation, you can go back and write it down if you need to. Um, it's minus 2 times y prime. So minus 2a0 e to the 2t minus, ends up being 4a0 plus a0t plus a1 times e to the 2t. And then it's minus 3 times uh, y which is minus 3 times a0t plus a1 e to the 2t. OK, and then we need to gather all the like terms. So what you get, so e to the 2t is a factor in all of this. And then we need to gather like terms. So the terms involving t. We have 4a0 times t here. We have minus 4a0 times t from here. And then we have minus 3a0 times t here. And those are all the terms involving t. And then all the constant terms. So we have 2a0 plus 2a0 plus 4a1 minus 2a0 minus 4a1 minus 3a1. These are the constant terms. OK, so what do we know? Well, from the form of the right-hand side of the original equation, we know that there should be no constant terms. And the term in front of the t should be 3. So this should be. 3, and this here should equal 0. So let's simplify what we get here. Um, so again, I'm going to have to erase what's up top. Okay, so we know where we stand. We get negative 3a0 is 3. And down here, we get, so it's 4a0 minus 2a0. 2a0 minus 3a1 is 0. So let's solve here. We get a0 is negative 1.
And so 2 times negative 1 minus 3, a1 should be 0, meaning that a1 ends up being negative 2 over 3. OK, so finally, we get our particular solution is, so it was a0t, so it's negative 1t minus 2 thirds times e to the power of 2t is our particular solution. And then our general solution is given by the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution. Okay, because this one is going to make the equation 0, and this particular solution will make it equal to uh, 3 times e to the 2t. So 0 plus 3t times e to the 2t is 3t times e to the 2t. So we get, um, if you remember, 1 third e to the 3t plus 3 quarters e to the negative t, and plus our particular solution, which is negative t minus 2 thirds e to the 2t. And that's the solution.